guys, welcome to Project Homestead. Today is the last week, thank goodness. I'm so over this challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I'm over it. Here is, it's late, it's kinda late, so sorry about the flash, but we got that tater tot casserole that I made in last week, I think. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in, and we will enjoy our first meal of the week. This casserole had no cheese on it because I didn't go to the store and get any. It does have like the cream cheese and the soup in it, so I'm not really worried about it. Which was most, much nicer to dip your pork into. Hey guys, welcome to day number two. We are currently making lunch. Um, this is probably going to be dinner too, if I'm being completely honest. We are making some Brussels sprouts up from the freezer. I might do sweet potato too. And I'm also making some more of those um, delicious potatoes that are so bad for you. And this is just more cream cheese that I, I dropped the cream cheese on there because I needed to use that cream cheese up and I just, so I chuck it in, chucked it in there. So I'm gonna warm that up. I'm gonna cook these Brussels sprouts Oh wait, no, dinner tonight is at my in-laws. Never mind. We're doing dinner dinner at my in-laws. So cool. This is just gonna be lunch. Easy peasy. I just want to quickly mention, I know I mentioned this in previous videos that go along with this challenge, but breakfast is the same thing. We made freezer oats not long ago, the orange juice and the yogurt, and then you freeze it. And so we have that every single morning. Unless I get on here and tell you otherwise, we have that every single morning. It's the biggest reason why we're able to stay on such a low low budget every single week is because we're having the same thing day in and day out. Dinner, nine times out of 10, is leftovers. Sorry, lunch, nine times out of 10, is leftovers from the dinner the night before. And so that's how we're able to stick to such a tight budget. If I change something or if I have something other than what I just said, I will show you guys on here if we have a different lunch or if we have a different breakfast than what I just explained. I'm telling you, these are potent. These are gonna get you, man. These are potent. These are potent. They shouldn't get you. Look at my eyes. <laughs> I'm crying. Like a big cry baby, mama. I'm not crying. Well, don't think that you are a superhuman because you're not Mr. Superhero, you know, onion cry. Yes, I am. It just gets you when you're least expecting it. I'll go on least expecting it. Psst, no, you're trying to see. You're trying to be like, oh, see how tough I am, Mom? With my tough anti-onion burn. Well, life. then get me. Okay, she so right into it. Don't do it, Hamish. Stop! What are you doing? Get out! <laughs> you're going to burn your eye. Get out of here. Did it get you a little bit? Look at me. Let's look at me. Oh, what's that? Is that tears? Is that tears? The onions got him. No, then look at my eyes. You're right over the onions again. They're gonna get you again, real good. Run and hide. <laughs> yeah, that got everything. His that. eyes were like tearing, and he's like, "Yeah, no, uh, uh." And Mama, don't cry because there's some cut up onions. Oh, I'm sorry.
All right, here we are on day four already. We are having BLTs for dinner. I did the same as breakfast, like I told you, the oats, and then we had um, the leftovers from dinner. And then we did BLTs, pretty basic, you know, BLT. And I had bread. Usually I don't. I like to have a lower carb situation, but if, if I'm about to start, then I will have carbs because it just makes me feel better when I actually do start. All right, and then on to day five, we had burgers, which I bought all the stuff for the burgers. I'll break that down for you so that you can know what it was. We're a little bit over budget now. I'm just going to tell you. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. So you saw enchiladas there I got out of the freezer. And then for lunch, we had this creamy mushroom soup, which I found in the pantry. And then my husband was gifted some crawdads or crayfish, however you want to say it. So he went ahead and he breaded them. They were really delicious. And now we're on to day six, where I'm going to kind of do a variation of the green goddess salad. This is a different type of cabbage. This is a savoy cabbage or a savory cabbage. I think it's called a savoy. And so I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing, only I forgot my cucumber, and I also added in some ginger juice, which isn't part of it. I'm just smelling it to make sure that it smells okay, and I was like, you know, it smells fine. So we're going to go with it. That's walnuts, and then we also added some cashew, and then I forgot I didn't have basil. I don't have cucumbers, and I don't have basil, which totally bummed me out. And then I remembered I have basil, so let's see if this is any good. doesn't taste bitter. Does basil go bitter? I don't, oh, <gasps> that scared me. Do you guys just see me jump? I thought it was a big, huge grasshopper. It wasn't. All right, let's get ourselves some basil from here. It's gotten very leggy. So, that's a tomato leaf. We don't want that. When I get something from my garden to add into some sort of a meal that I'm making for my family, it gives me so much gratitude. There are times where I've actually gotten emotional. I am so grateful for even the smallest things that come from my garden. Adding in some wilted sad spinach, which I had in my refrigerator for who knows how long. I it looked it looked wilted and that was it, so I went, I went with it. I have some nutritional yeast, which I found out later on that I had some already and I didn't need to buy this. So that was $16 I could have saved. Oh well. Lemon juice, added that in. I have so much of that lemon juice that saves a lot of money as well, buying that lemon juice in the bottles in bulk. So much money. Lemons are expensive. Can I drink from this one? The bottles I realized I had left out a lot of ingredients, so we're just adding all the different ingredients in now. And so then we'll blend it up and then we'll add it to the cabbage, which I chopped very, very finely. I think that is key to enjoying this salad. I I think texture is really a big thing for me. And if I have the let the let so not not lettuce, if I have the cabbage really small, then I enjoy it so much more. So then I went and got a rotisserie chicken. I bought this today. This is what put me over budget. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. And I just chopped that up really small as well. And then I mixed it throughout and I put the dressing on and the kids enjoyed it with a pita, which I'll show you in a minute. And I had it with corn chips. My husband also had it with corn chips. Good or not good? Good. Okay, go eat your lunch. Honestly. Mm. Good? Yeah. Go eat. Go be free. Does it have cheese in it? No. And just like that, we're on the very last day of the challenge. Yay! 
do you guys remember a couple weeks ago or yeah I think it was a couple weeks ago I made some barbecue chicken sandwiches this is the leftovers from that so I'm just getting it out to defrost now but I wanted to pop on here because we're having a different lunch than we normally do we're not having leftovers we're having eggs on toast and also my husband had pickled onions that I had made in my um pickled egg video from simple living alaska so that's what we had for lunch and i will be back again for dinner good or not good mm, weird it works well with the hot sauce yeah I completely forgot until later in the day that I had a bridal shower that I needed to attend, so that left my husband home to fend for himself for dinner. I did leave him out the eggs, the barbecued eggs, but he decided to make these swipe, I think he called them twice baked smashed potatoes. Let me put a bit of oil on them to crisp them up, chuck them back in for seven minutes. And Do you know I have barbecue chicken out for you? Forgot. Um, I forgot about it. That's okay. And then, yeah, by the time it's done again, after the next seven minutes, they're ready. Pull them back out, put a bit of butter on them nice. so, that, so that they're not all dry, and then season Nice one, them. babe. Nice one. Season them and they're done. It's, it's so easy. Yeah, it is. And it's cheap. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I wanted to quickly let you know that I did go $75 over. And for me, it's still a win because... Um, though it wasn't the $200 that we had set out in the, you know, in previous videos saying that it was $50 a week or $200 a month, my real goal in the back of my mind was to have X amount of money in my account when this next paycheck rolled in and we will. And this next month will be a lot easier because we didn't spend, we didn't overspend. And that's one thing that I was really worried about with the kids going back to school well, not back to school, but the kids going to school. And I was just worried and I really wanted to really just tighten up my spending because I find for myself that when something new happens or I don't really know a lot about the situation, like how are my kids going to do in school? What's really needed of them to go to school? I will overspend. I will throw money at it and be like, well, they need the best this and they need this and they need that and they need da 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 and though I did get them lunch food, obviously that was nutritious, I also stopped myself so many times by going, I mean, I would walk past like lunch boxes, oh, that's a better one. And ugh, it just was like, it was hectic. And it was a way for me to be able to stop myself from overspending and it totally worked. So for me, it was a win. I'm not sure if that makes sense what I just said, but for me, it was a win because having this really tight budget kept me kept me in the mind frame that I needed to be in to go no stop you don't need that jelly just put it back so I feel like it was a win but let me know in the comments down below what you think also as you saw my husband's dinner was those twice baked smashed potatoes I think he called them and he didn't realize that I had left him out the I guess he forgot that I had left him out that barbecued chicken so he didn't end up having that so we'll probably have that tomorrow. I went to a bridal shower, which is why I didn't put together the barbecued chicken. And it was just last minute that I remembered. I got a text message and I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. It's a good thing I had already bought the gift because, and this is one thing I really wanna focus on is getting myself more organized. So I will talk more about that in a future video. I want my channel and my life to just kind of ebb and flow together and not be a point of stress for me ever so I was thinking I was thinking that Mondays I could do um something in the kitchen some new skill in the kitchen some new recipe some new technique or something like that that I could share with you guys that we were learning and then I was thinking Wednesday could be more like in the garden or around the house so it'll be maybe planting something maybe a garden tour maybe um, a new skill that I'm learning in the garden or doing seedlings or something or it will be in the house like I said where it's like a DIY or an upcycle or organizing myself etc so keep Mondays to kitchen Wednesdays to like garden and home kind of like if I'm going to be doing shopping I was thinking Fridays could also be 
uh, and let me know what you think about this because my channel is not a fitness channel. But I do believe it's really important for myself uh, to get myself in better shape and fitness level so that when I do end up getting that homestead one day that I am a lot healthier than what I am now so that I find it easier physically and mentally to do the things that I need to do. Now I understand fitness looks different for everybody so I'm talking about what it just looks like for me and I'll talk more about what that looks like for me in future videos if you're interested in that. Um, I don't want to veer off on my channel too much so maybe I would do like a fitness update like twice a month or once a month and then the other times can be more like vlog like we're going to go shopping and we're going to do like maybe a haul or some new gadget I got around the house for the house and just kind of leave Friday free so that we can um, fill it in with whatever it needs to be filled in with but also doing like a little touch of fitness in there. What do you guys think about that? But that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it was not an easy challenge for me. It was very difficult and I'm happy with my efforts and I'll probably do something like this again in the future, but hopefully I've got more pantry staple food so that I it's not so, I don't have to be so creative. <laughs> And it's a lot more kind of just doing that shopping for my own shelves. And yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for your guys' comments. Thank you guys so much for your support. And for all the engagement. I have absolutely loved the comments. They've been so informative. Some, some of them are tips. Some of them are um, just nice comments. Some of them are just... It, it's just all really wonderful and I really appreciate it so much and I hope that you all guys will continue to engage in my content and that you will feel welcome and good to do that so yep I will see you guys in the next video which will be on Wednesday until then guys bye